the last three four years, if you see what we've done in the clubs, I mean, a lot of it has been more electronic dance music, right. and with the album also. In general, album go for listening. So I think Gaurav is trying to bring a more listening perspective to what we do. Mm -hmm. So the album has a bit of our kind of what people associate with us, right. but it, uh, a lot of it is also just good listening music. No influences, so to speak. Popular, like, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no influences, <laughs> sorry, but you know, another thing is that we uh, over the when we do gigs and things like that, it's very gratifying to see people have a good time. Right. right. So mm, most of like our work now is uh, is sort of intended to mm. let people enjoy it, and we should also enjoy it while we do it. Also, to be entirely honest, we haven't really put out so much music to mm -hmm. for like public consumption. Right. So, because this was the first album, I wanted to sort of uh, uh, I don't know underline the various styles of work that we do, the philosophy that uh, mm -hmm. that lot is based on. You know, it's not only restricted to one thing, to a variety of things, and uh, it's, we try not be very pretentious when we are working or, or with the content that we produce, and hopefully that that. that uh, should show up through the album. So we are not trying to be anything, we are just being ourselves and making whatever we feel like that. Mm -hmm. I think we both worked, I mean we've worked together for five years, we also have a larger collective with the five, six people, I've worked in studios, so you know, in general there is a sense that okay this is how you work with creative people and this is kind of how you lay the grounds out in terms of whether it's friendship or mm -hmm. work and deadlines so there's a I mean it's quite organic and fluid of course we keep messing up once in a while but all the time all the time but it's somehow yeah, it's fine I mean we don't we're not trying to set up a corporation okay. at, in any case and uh, yeah I mean process I think the, collab the, yeah. the process really boils down to the time when we actually have our individual content ready and we have to make them interact also trying to, it's not like he's saying, okay, I'll do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. uh, but at some level, he's saying that, and I'm also saying that. But we also happen to have good chemistry in general, I think. So I think that also helps that he trusts my taste in things, and I trust his taste in music, and what he's going to do. And there's a lot of trust in that, and that actually all is actually what makes it work for me. I think with India, if you look at like media in general or cinema or like music, actually for some level it's only now, especially in specific domains of this kind of culture, like what we're doing with electronic music or DJing or yeah. new media, only now would, I mean, it's not only us obviously, there's several people like us, but it's only now that you'll see a wave of people who are like you're saying, okay with being who they are, that we are, we happen to be in India at this point in 2012. All right, and we've been we've been through a certain set of experiences, and we're okay with expressing it the way it is, right. which I think is what you're referring to. And, yeah. and there is a certain sense of, I mean, I wouldn't even say pride or arrogance, but there is a certain sense of contentment with the fact that this is how your life is around you, and right. this is how you're choosing to express it, and you don't have any internal conflict about that. You can make a visual out of anything, right? It can right. be anything in the whole world. You can either be inspired by it, or you can make a visual with it or off it and they can all be pieces of art next put next to each other with anything else ever made so in general it's infinite i mean normally off late at i can tell you i'm thinking more about just <laughs> strange creatures and like, uh, yeah, cause i've just learned this tool to make like uh, learning this tool to make like character design right so i've been making kind of things inspired by bugs monsters and things. monsters and like mix of i mean in general like basic love of things i mean that name actually is very Became. When we came up with the name, maybe the idea wasn't so clear, but now that it's been five years, the name actually is exactly what uh, it stands for at some level. Uh, philosophically, that's what it stands for, and so it's anything, you know, it's, uh, as long as you like that visual What's and What's the weirdest thing that has made its way into your art because you've loved it? Well, right now I'm working on a transgender mix, yeah, like a transgender pig meets an elephant meets a mosquito, which is actually... <laughs> some kind of sexual fetish in it with some, yeah, so it's like, that's the, right now actually the weirdest thing I'm working yeah, on because the guys in the studio couldn't believe it, he's like, they're like, dude, what's wrong with you, like, I've been seeing and what, where did that come from? Well, it just comes from, I mean, off late actually since my trip to Florence, I've been slowly getting more inspired by just what's grotesque, I mean, they have this thing called grotesque, I think it's just a fascination with ugliness of some sort.
uh, every time I discover like a new sound, I keep tinkering about it. You know? So for me, this whole album has been like uh, like a discovery of sorts. I didn't know that these sounds could be made through this synthesizer, for instance, or through like a VST. So it's a discovery, and it's about how I can put all, glue all of my discoveries together and still make it like uh, appealing to well me to start. You know. So, so yeah, I'm influenced by a lot of things. I, I listen to a lot of things. I listen to, I'm influenced by things like you know the soundtracks that these films have, like the score, the Foley effects, like the door shutting and things like that. So I, I, I try and incorporate all these dramatic elements in most of my tracks. So it, it, it's, it's also an exercise in sound design. Harmonizing at the speed of light, at the speed of light.